Are you trying to get into PC gaming on a budget, but you're sick and tired of those budget build guides that show those crazy once in a lifetime deals that no one has access to? Well today, I have this $300 used gaming PC that I paid $203 for, but I'm going to show you how to find every single part in here and still keep it under $300. You can build this thing right now. Let's get into it. Hey, welcome to Zach's Tech Turf. Today we're going to be checking out this $300 used gaming PC build and seeing what it can do. But most importantly, I'm going to show you how to find every single part that's in here online so you can copy it for yourself. And if you want to see more PC building videos or benchmarking videos, then hit that subscribe button down below and also that notification bell. That way you never miss an episode. But yeah, let's check this thing out. So to start this video off, I'm going to show you guys exactly what all is in this build, how much I personally paid for it, and how much you can pay for it right now without getting the crazy deals like I did. Here is the parts list and the prices. You can see that I got a pretty decent deal on the motherboard, CPU, and RAM combo, but the really crazy deal was on the GTX 960. Every other part on this list isn't hard to get your hands on, but before I explain where to find all these parts, let's do some quick benchmarking just so you can see if this build is even worth your time. So yeah, as you can see, these are some pretty decent results for 1080p gaming with a $300 used build but certainly really good results for the $203 I paid for it. Now this is something that you have to keep in mind though. I'm gonna show you how to find every single one of these parts for around $300 total, but if you're patient like me, then you'll be able to get this build for like $203 like I did, or possibly even lower. All right, so this is now Webcam Zach, and this video is about to get pretty unprofessional and not Team Crispy really quick, but I think it's important to be real with you guys and actually walk you through these parts that I'm about to show you. All right, so for the first part in our build this is the heart and soul of any gaming pc and that's the processor the one i went with is the amd fx 4300 and this is a 3.8 gigahertz processor but it boosts up to 4.0 gigahertz and it's on the am3 plus socket so if you're copying this build then it's very important to know that you can definitely upgrade this to a little bit beefier of a cpu this is just the really good deal that i found and i'll show you my deal in just a second but we're gonna go over here to ebay.com. As you can see on Newegg, it's like $67, which we don't want. We're gonna type in AMD FX 4300. And for all these parts, I'm gonna scroll down here to the left and we are gonna go to show all and sold and completed items only. That way you guys can't say that, oh, I see this processor is going for $100 or it's actually going for 150. We're gonna actually show what this processor has been sold for recently. So here you can see that on May 4th, it was sold for $48, here for 40 just a few days ago, here for 30, there's a 67, but there's a 33, there's a 46, there's a 40, there's a 37, and there's another 40. So I'm gonna say the average is about $40, and you can find this processor for 40 bucks pretty easily. Okay, so the second part out of that combo deal that I was talking about is the motherboard. And the one that I found was the MSI 760GM-P34. And just like the last part, we're only looking at sold items here. 
And here you can see on eBay that they're selling for 16, 30, 30. Uh, this one is a combo. This one's 32, 36, 18, 42, 30. 13 32 so i'm going to say the average of this motherboard is 30 but if you're patient you could easily get this for like 20 bucks and for the last part of that combo deal that i was talking about is the ram so up in ebay still on ebay for right now i'm going to type in two by four gigabyte of ddr3 ram you don't want to just type in eight gigabytes because then you might only get one eight gigabyte stick so here we're at two by four gigabytes and this is a desktop one at $13.33 for only 20 bucks. This sold today for $20. So don't complain about RAM prices. This is for 40. This is laptop memory, 49, 25. I've seen a lot of deals for 25 locally, 37, 45. Now these are all different speeds, but this is just the average of DDR3 price. The speed isn't gonna make a huge difference. So I wouldn't get too caught up on that, but there's another one for 35. There's a 20, there's a 37, a 33. So I'm going to say a very conservative average is $40 for eight gigabytes of DDR3. But like I said, you could definitely find that for around 30 bucks or maybe even cheaper than that. So just to recap that little combo, I personally found this deal here, which included the FX 4300 motherboard and eight gigabytes of RAM all for 70 bucks on the Mercari app but you can find these parts all individually on eBay for around $110. All right, so moving right along, we're still on eBay for right now. I promise we'll leave eBay here soon, but the next part is the GTX 960. Now I'm gonna type in EVGA GTX 960 because A, that's what mine was, and B, if you just type in GTX 960, then you're gonna get a lot of those like Chinese knockoff brands and those are only gonna be like 40 or 50 bucks. So I don't wanna show those to you guys. So just yesterday, a GTX 960 sold for $91. There's a pretty high price one. I don't know who paid for that. There's a 115, a 100, a 125, a 120, 120, 120. There's a 100, a 120, a 102. So I would say the average for a GTX 960 right now realistically is a hundred bucks. If you're patient, you can very easily find them for 120. Uh, if you're not patient, but I would aim for about $100. Okay, so the next part on our list is the case, and we're finally over on Newegg and not eBay. And I got the Zion 310 gaming case. Now, here it is $24 on Newegg, but the best part is it's free shipping. Usually cases have some pretty expensive shipping, and this isn't a crazy deal or anything. This is actually the price that it always goes for, which is why I made a dedicated video on it. It is a micro ATX mid tower case, so I wouldn't try to fit any other bigger GPUs than the 960 because there's barely any room for it in here. But if you're gonna spend $24 on a case, you might as well make it brand new and this one's pretty solid. So next up on our list is the SSD and you can see from this deal here that I actually stole the SSD off the Mercari app for $14 but we can always go over here to ebay.com. Again, let me show you guys. And we're just gonna type in 120 gigabyte SSD. And we're still at, we're gonna go to sold items. And here you can see one just sold for $27. There's a 60, don't want that. $30, 35, 21, 34, 20, 20. Uh, those, those are a little expensive, 41, 46, 34. See if we get any more cheaper ones. There's another 20. So these are a little bit more expensive, but I'm gonna say that you can pretty much get this for around 20 bucks if you're patient. Uh, I definitely wouldn't pay $40 for like a used 120 gigabyte SSD. I actually just paid 35 for a new one. So aim for about 20 bucks for this one. It, it wouldn't be that hard to find. So the other storage drive that we got is a 750 gigabyte Western Digital Caviar hard drive. And that I just picked up locally for 15 bucks, but you could easily snag one of these up on eBay for probably around 25. So I'm just gonna type in 750 gigabyte hard drive here. And these aren't gonna go for that much. See, there's a 27, there's a 20, a 29, uh, a 16 or 17, which that would be a great deal. Another 17, 
There's a $5 one, a $20 one. I'm gonna say the average is 25 bucks and you might even be able to get a one terabyte for 20, for 25 bucks, but I would shoot for 750 gigabyte, 25 bucks. That won't be hard at all. Okay, and finally, the last part on our list is the power supply. Now, for a super budget build, I wouldn't search for power supplies on eBay. I would go back to Newegg and I'll show you why. We're gonna type in this EVGA 430, uh, not a graphics card, the 430 watt power supply. Here you can see that the price of this 430 watt power supply is 30 bucks, but this power supply along with a ton of other sub 500 watt power supplies go on sale on Newegg for 20 bucks all of the time. It's usually after mail and rebate, but I personally picked this up for 20 bucks with free shipping and it's gonna go on sale all the time. So if you're only spending $20 on a power supply, I would much rather you buy a brand new one with a warranty and not get a used $20 one off eBay because if that thing goes bad, it could fry your entire PC and then you're really out of luck. So there you have it. That's exactly how you can find every single part in this build for around $300. I personally think that this is a great starting point for you budget gamers out there and there's also certainly a lot of room for improvement if you want to spend a little more money. The FX 4300 isn't that great of a CPU and could definitely be upgraded for just a few more dollars. The DDR3 RAM that I went with isn't fast at all and I would try to get a better deal on that. And finally, I would also try to upgrade the storage a bit more because I know you can get one terabyte drives for the same price I paid for the 750. Well that wraps up my $300 used gaming PC build guide. I'm pretty sure that a lot of you have been requesting this exact kind of video, so be sure to let me know in the comment section what you thought of this build. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please drop a like down below to help support my channel, and as always, thank you for watching. And please subscribe for more Zach's Tech Turf videos.